My name is Brian Simons and I am the regional sales manager uh, for Firetide. We are a manufacturer of wireless infrastructure devices based in California but with deployments and executables uh, around the world. What we do is, is we enhance the availability of the connectivity you know, to those, those um, client or handheld devices in so much that we, we tr do our best to reduce the cost of cabling because we've eliminated it in certain aspects. We also, because of the growing need to bring more devices onto the network simultaneously, we're forced to become, become a bigger, let's call it catcher's mitt, in so much that you know, when a number of those devices or those people with multiple devices are in the same physical area. The other expectation is that when you connect, let's say, in the lobby of a hotel or convention center, that, connect, that connection is expected now to stay with you while you migrate freely throughout that hotel or that college campus. That's not technology available to the world two years ago. The cellular industry created the model, but now the Wi-Fi and wireless industries have to migrate and adapt to it very, very quickly. Well, fate, the wireless industry is going through some wonderful, rapid, and aggressive changes. But the onset and growth of need, based so much on cellular and Wi-Fi deployments, it's, it's unprecedented. What we do is provide infrastructure within and outside of buildings to ensure connectivity, whether it's in that building or between buildings. So the challenges we run into are not some of the things that people think about more often, such as weather or changing in temperature. The biggest concern is about data throughput and about the security of that data as it migrates between environments wirelessly. So one of our biggest uh, the, the things that we have to overcome, basically, is interestingly enough, we've all become dependent on wireless connectivity. But the fact that when it's used in commercial application, there's always a question, is it safe? Can it be intercepted? And will interference impact the quality of that delivery? So our objective is to ensure that that quality of service continues you know, from the initiation, initiation points on, on satellites right through the connections through antennas on the outside of buildings and ensure the connectivity is successful to the handheld device that once again we've all become so dependent on. It's about making it a better experience. It's not necessarily as simple as putting up more equipment, but the equipment has to, has to follow certain paths without question. We can't eliminate physics when dealing with wireless. Water is not a good conductor of wireless. People, volumes, high volumes of people in one particular place can impact the quality of transmission. We sometimes forget that. We also have to remember that there's a physical number or physical tolerance that put, that's put on wireless infrastructure. So again, if it was endless, then there would be no issue. But you're absolutely right. The question about, the question about predictability is one which we have to work into the business model, because what can the entity, such as that convention center or the hotel or that college campus, what can they afford based on what the needs are of the audience who are expecting to connect? Thank you.